Hi there, in this video uh, using open source QGIS I'm just going to show you uh, one way of uh, mapping your data. So you've got a, a table like this, this is a CSV, uh, just a text file, comma delimited, um, and you're going to put this, you want to put this on the map. And in this case I've got the names of these theatres that match up with some of these green triangle names as well, but not all, the fifth record uh, will, will not geocode, won't map. But I was, what I've, what I've done is I'm going to show it in, um, uh, sort of show several components to this. So what I'm going to do, in fact, is take this CSV, load it into Postgres using um, uh, pgadmin, and uh, and then load it back into QGIS, uh, map it, join the data to uh, the theatre table. And then once I'm happy with the results, I'm going to put the results back into POGIS, uh, sorry, POGIS, <laughs> back into POSGIS. Um, so the, the, the idea being, I'm just going to show a bit of uh, a few few components in this. There's, there's lots of, there are other ways to do this. And you, you, you could do a lot of this purely by script within uh, uh, PG admin. So in here you could do it. You could do a lot. You could do update statements and joins, etc., and get the geometry across. I'm just going to show you this way, so you you can um, just just use the effectively point and click tools uh, out of the box. That's that's what I'm, I'm focusing on. But uh, as with all, all my videos, or most of them certainly, there's a lot of different ways to do things. I'll just show you one way, and hopefully that's that's of use to you. So I, I have a uh, table structure here called for geocoding. This is um, a very simple structure, unique ID, theater name, and uh, a value number. Uh, and that's the data going in. So it just matches up with that. So I've already created the structure. In pgadmin, I can do a right hand mouse click and import. And then the file I'm going to import was just in ttemp for geocoding .csv. I think it was just uh, oh, there was an underscore in there. So that's all. It's just a CSV, and we'll we'll just make sure it's going to read the. Uh, there's no header because uh, I've already got the everything in there. Um, and again, with scripting, SQL, you could use copy, etc. But but I'm I'm, I'm using this tool. Uh, comma delimiter, that's all, bring you all the columns, import. Okay, so that's done. So now when I use the view data, view 100 rows, uh, you can see my data has been successfully brought into Postgres. So a little demo there, how to get your text files into uh, Postgres. And effectively, this is PostGIS because this schema has had the post template applied, that, uh, that database has had it applied. So in so now that we're back in QGIS, what I can use is the DB Manager because I, I, I'm, I can't add this as any kind of geography. I can't go to the PostGIS connection, for example. It won't it won't be on there. Uh, there's no there's no um, geography for that. It's just a text file. But I can make use of the DB Manager in database. So by connecting this way, it was in OSM training as well. Put it. You'll see for geocoding. Look at the table, and there they are. So with for geocoding, I can write uh, right hand mouse click and say add to canvas. So add to canvas, and there you see it now appeared. It's appeared, and you can quite clearly see it's, there, there are no sort of colored dots or polygons or what have you, raster um, icon. It's its attributes. It is purely data. And in fact, if I look at the open attribute table, you can therefore see it. Um, here's, here's, the, here's the data again. So, but it's not geography. So how could I get this onto the map? Well, a way to do this, and like I said, there are, there are multiple ways here. I'm just showing you one way and also uh, just showing you some, uh, I hope, uh, new tools that you'll, you'll find useful. Um, one of the tools it could use is join attributes by field value. So uh, again, use the, use the tool here. See, I type join and it comes up with recent use because I've got that, but it's by uh, field value is what you're looking for, because we're going to match a field value. It's got nothing to do with uh, location. So the input layer is actually these theatres, these green triangles, because that's got the geography 
that I want to pick up on, uh, the, the point information. It's the name that I'm going to look up and the for geocoding table also matches with theatre name. I'm just going to do one to one because I've, I've only got one to one. I haven't got uh, multiple um, records in there for the for the same uh, uh, theatre or anything. It's, I know it's just a one to one relationship, and we'll we'll leave that all as is for the moment, and we'll just run that almost instant. Obviously, it's not very much data, and you can see how if I just turn off OSM theatres, you can see how I've got a green dot on every record, and that's because what it's done is it's brought through all the theatres. Uh, records because I wanted that geometry and then if I open up on the joined layer on the attributes you can see that where it's matched it's copied across the data i.e. this value num field that I had uh, let's put that on. so the unique ID that I had from for geocoding and the value num which is just a, an arbitrary bit of data uh, and match them all the rest of this data here is null because it's not uh, matched up but it still brought it through so let's just get that rid of that f for a second let's run the same tool same options more or less so I want to get theaters name for geocoding is the one I want to geocode using theater name but this time I want to discard the records which could not be joined so I only want to keep those records effectively that are in for geocoding and find a match in theaters. So I run and now we get something probably that you more sort of expected, just the dots on a few of these green triangles. Let's turn off the green triangles. So they are the ones that were geocoded. Click on that one. So there you go, that's geocoded and I've brought across the other fields. You can, you can do what you like to the field. So that's that. that that's now geocoding. It, it geocoded. Uh, it's mapped out. It's been given a spatial reference, um, a geospatial reference, and the joined layer is in memory. That's a that's a key point. This joined layer. I didn't I didn't do a save to. F um, if you look in here, joined layer. You see, I could do multiple. I can even put it straight into the postgis table and things like that. But it's a it's a joined layer, and again, you can do. Uh, you wish with it any projects save it etc but you could also use the db manager here i could say um, db manager in order to put these results back in postgis as their own table effectively so I go to public so i'm in here and if you look at this tool here it's import layer so i'm going to import my joined layer my geocoded data um i'll import all the features and i'll call it um geocoded results let's say geocoded results uh, uh, it's already got a primary key I've already made that um, and we could set other we'll create a spatial index actually but we could we could ch change the um, target source SRID and stuff uh, but the rest of it can remain the same uh, so it's going to go into PostGIS from here press OK and there we go let's close all this get rid of join layer, we don't need that anymore so now when I'm in PostGIS if you look at this at the connection I may have to refresh I oh know geocoded results is there so that is a, um, a double click PostGIS table and that's my results if I go back to PG admin and just look at uh, I need to refresh that so you can see geocoded results right there look at the column there's the results come through. Let's just view, do a view data. And here we go. And there are the results in PostGIS. So I did that all through point and click. Like I said, you could do some scripts and SQL and stuff. But I just wanted to show you a, a sequence uh, there just using point and click. Uh, so we imported some data into Postgres, some raw CSV. We add it to the canvas. There it still is um, through uh, DB Manager, Database DB Manager. Once we add it to the canvas, we then did this uh, join attributes by field, match the fields up, uh, happy with the results, and then did a import layer into that schema, and it created the PostGIS table for us. So lots of uh, things going on there, but uh, I hope you find that all uh, useful. Thanks very much.